Hi everyone, welcome to Wednesday's Max Lesson. So, like we've been doing the last couple of days, we have been recapping on what we've been learning this term. Okay, so it's nothing new, so just recapping what you guys know and what you've learned, and also if you sat there with your grown ups, hopefully you can go, on, go over some stuff. Pause me whenever you like and just practice, yeah? Because it, as long as we practice it, we'll remember it and we'll learn it, yeah? Sound good? Fantastic, right. Let's go. So today is Wednesday. What shapes can you see? What shape can you see? Can you see it all right? Hopefully you can see it. On my screen it's not showing up very well. Well, I'll describe it if not. Well, I'm sure you can see it. It's got one, one side, no corners. It's got one long round side. It's a circle and a circle has one side. Well done, right. What shape is this? Have a look. Should we count the sides? One, two, three. It's got three sides, so it's a triangle, because a triangle has three sides. Okay, does it? And it doesn't matter what the sides look like, as long as it's got three sides and three corners, it's a triangle. Right, what shape's this? Should we count the sides? One, two, three, four. It's got four sides. So what is it? It must be a rectangle. A rectangle's got four sides. Or it could be a square. A square's got four sides. What do you think? What did we say? What did we say in maths? It must be a square because it's got four equal sides. A square has four equal sides. Right, what about this one then? What's this? Shall we count the sides? One, two, three... Four! It's got four sides, but it's got two long and two short. So it must be a rectangle. So a, a, what's a square got? Well done. Four equal sides. And a rectangle's got two long and two short sides. Right, are these still triangles? They look different. Are they still triangles? Yes, because it doesn't matter, because they've all got... Three sides. They've all got three sides, but they're just different shapes. So we've got an equilateral triangle, because all sides are the same. We've got an isosceles triangle, because we've got two long sides, or two sides that are the same length. And we've got an, a right angle triangle, because it's got a right angle. Well done. Right, let's count these crayons. One, two, three. Right, so if I add one more, how many will I have? Three plus one more makes four. Well done, so one more. Right, how about now? Right, I've got how many? I've got two. Right, what's one less than two? What's one less? So if I want one less, I take one away. So now I've only got one. Right, how many have I got now? I've got three. Add one more. That makes four. What about now? I've got four. I need to add one more. So I add one more and that makes... You got it. Makes five. Right, so I'm going to put my crayons into a five frame. One into a five frame. Two into a five frame. If I add one more, if I add one more crayon, I will have three. Three. Three crayons. Does it not... Sorry, I'm talking way too quick. Does it matter where the crayons are? No, it doesn't matter where the crayons are in the five frame. Because they are all... Because, because they will still be three, it doesn't matter. There will be three crayons and still be two spaces. Right, have a look at this. There are three crayons. Plus one more makes four. Right. How do we know there are five... Duplo in the. How do we know there are five pieces of Duplo in the five frame without counting them? Because we know that the five frame is full, and if a five frame is full, we have five objects in the five frame. It doesn't matter. It could be Lego. It could be crayons. It could be Santas. It doesn't matter. The five frame is full. So there are five, but we need one less. So we take one away, and now we've got. Four. Well done. Have another go. Right. Put three in. 
Add one more makes four. Oh, look, we've got three. Does it matter where they are? No, we'll change them around, it doesn't matter. We've still got three crayons. Take one away and that makes three. Take one away makes two. Well done. And that is the end of, of the lesson. So have a, um, have a look through, pause me if you need to, and have a, and have a great time. Uh, focus on, you can look at some circles, some triangles, anything, just have a look. Hope you're all hope you're okay. I'll see you again soon. Bye.